Alderman and I have been working with the MedGov organization for many years. Herman Levy has been a conduit to the world, not only to be one of the official responders to the crisis in Haiti. Herman Levy, through the MedGov Corporation, you see all this MedGov stuff here, has been given to Africa, to Jamaica, to Haiti, to project here in our country. He's seen and find it necessary, not only to be here, but to give us, Rabbi Walderman and I, the opportunity to say, go ahead, share this quantity, this love, this opportunity with Mark Appel's endeavor. The Bridge Multicultural and Advocacy Group or JCRC के इस्तराक से हेटी में आने वाले जल्दला से मुतासरा अफराद की मदद के लिए एक इंतहाई पुर्वकार तकरीब का एनकाद The Bridge के सदर Mr. Mark Mayor Apple और Brooklyn में नोए इंसानी की खिदमत के जज्बे से काम करने वाली अंजमन JCRC ने गुजिश्ता रोज इंतहाई बावकार तरीके से किया A Call for Prayer and Support नामी इस इवन में ब्रुकलिन की बेशतर तंजीमों ने हेटी के जल्दला से मुतासरीन की दिल खोल कर मदद की आइए देखते हैं एक एक्सक्लूसिव फुटेज Good afternoon. We're here today at the bridge with Mr. Mark Appel, founder of the Bridge Multicultural Project. Mr. Appel, we understand today we're here uh, expecting hundreds of community leaders and activists, elected officials. And can you tell us why these people are coming here today? It was a very exciting day today. Very exciting day today. It's the Brooklyn Haitian Interfaith Alliance for Haiti. When one community suffers, we all suffer. This community, for over the last decade, at the bridge and our co-sponsoring organizations, the Jewish Community Relations Council, the Haitian Nurses Association, Baraka Church, Baptist Church, as well as other community organizations have come together like never before to help the people in Haiti. We've done it once, and we do it twice, and we'll do it as much as, as, much as necessary to get people in Haiti, get them their emergency supplies, and if you look around this room, you see very expensive equipment, surgical equipment. You see eyeglasses, you see water, you see pampers, diapers. These are basic uh, stuff that we use in America. People in Haiti don't have access to it. They don't have access. The roads are closed, the airports are closed. And we're working together with Dr. Mona Lisa and other groups to put together a shipment of stuff, and our shipment will be continuous until the end of the year, until we make sure that every person that lacks supplies in Haiti, every person that is suffering in Haiti, will have the adequate equipment, and not only them, but the medical personnel are lacking in surgical instruments, uh, suction equipment, so we have donation by MedGive, which is an amazing organization, has donated over $100,000 worth of supplies to Haiti. They have been doing this for over a decade to Jamaica and other Caribbean countries, but now we have put together this shipment, which is gonna be going out hopefully within the next week. But more and more hospitals, NYU that's part of our coalition, New York Board of Rabbis, everybody is bringing more and more supplies, and we hope to have enough supplies, at least to help a couple of hundred families well, I am, I was invited to be here. My name is Rike Figaro. I'm a Haitian American attorney here in Brooklyn. I'm with, with the Figaro Law Office. My office is right around the corner. And, uh, you know, I am Haitian American and uh, from a small southern town currently affected by what's going on right now. So I am here to lend support to all the organization. My office stands ready. Hi, my name is Pastor Gil Monroe. I am the president of the 67th Prison Clergy Council and serve as the faith advisor to the Brooklyn Borough President. So yeah, so I think that, you know, any country, any nation, especially in the Caribbean uh, that is faced with disasters, I think that all of us from the Caribbean should come together, um, primarily when it comes to a disaster and the magnitude like what we see um, in Haiti. So 
Today we are standing tall shoulder to shoulder to be able to support them from one Caribbean island to the next, even though we all live in New York City. Absolutely. Welcome. Thank you for introducing me. Uh, my name is Ari Weiss. I am the Jewish community leader out on Staten Island. I am here to help out Haiti and whatever other communities need to be helped with. The message is that no matter what faith, color, nationality, whatever you believe in, we must come together, we must unite. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Bridge Multicultural Project. And most importantly, welcome to our Brooklyn Interfaith Alliance for Haiti. My name is Dr. Mona Lisa Ferrari, and I am a proud member of the Bridge Multicultural Family, where we always gather in unity, strength, in times of crisis, in times of sadness, in times of catastrophe. This is not the first time that we've had events like this. And we are grateful to people like Mr. Mark Appel, who had brought this place together, who had put it together. And he has so far lived up to the mission and the vision on which he had founded this place. We never know when something is gonna happen. I can only imagine those who woke up that morning or woke up in the middle of the earthquake would have imagined that again, it was going to happen. The tragedy happens and we think it goes away. The fact that this and all of this incredible stuff, the medical supplies, the other things that people need will travel to Haiti are just a piece of the answer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to please put your hands together as we bring to this podium the man who has gathered all of us here today, Mr. Mark Mayor Appel. Please put your hands together for me. Thank you so much, Mona Lisa. Incredible sunny day after a rough day yesterday with our weather. So we're blessed that so many of our organizations that are partners, first of all, the JCRC, Jewish Community Relations Council, the Federation, the Haitian Nurses Association, and all the wonderful groups that are here today. A program like today could not have been possible years ago. But thank God, with our strong political and religious leaders, and leaders like yourself, Bob, the community today is different than it was many years ago. Communities of all color, of all religions, all faith, both work collectively together, day and night. Look around the room and you see people from the Jewish community. Yesterday, myself and the Congresswoman, we visited Yitzhi Weinberg, at a beautiful program that they have set up for the Flatbush community. But all of us in all our communities are working together collectively. So we have Councilwoman Farrah Lewis here today, Councilwoman to be, our friend Rita Joseph is here today. But we are all here today. We are all here today standing proudly with the flag of Haiti, the Haitian flag, and praying and hoping that the resurrection and the rehabilitation of that country come to fruition quickly. We're going to be around here for the next six months and we're going to be working hard to bring an end to the victims of Haiti. We're going to bring them as much supplies as they need, as much as equipment as they have. We have two warehouses standing by and Bob is working, Dr. Manalisa is working to assess the ground, and we're not gonna stop until we're able to reach as many families as we can. So let's begin the program. The first one, of course, is our esteemed member of the United States Congress, a friend of the bridge from day one, Ellie Slavin, I'll tell you that. Thank you, Ellie, for being here. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Congresswoman Yvette Clark. Let me uh, start by uh, acknowledging our mistress of ceremonies, um, Dr. Mona Lisa Ferrer. Let me um, acknowledge my colleague, council member, Farrah Lewis, and uh, my soon-to-be colleague, uh, council member, to be, Rita Joseph, who, who will be my council member. 
Let me, of course, acknowledge Mark Appel and the members of the bridge, um, also the sponsors of uh, today's gathering for Haiti Earthquake Prayer and Support, uh, JCRC through um, Bob Kaplan and Baraka Baptist Church, COPO, NYU Langone Family Care Centers, Haitian American Nurses Association, Diaspora Community Services, Rabbinical Alliance of America, POSWO, American Skilled Women's Organization, All Nations Mission and Association, Tour of Tolerance, UJA Federation, the Brooklyn Coalition on Healthcare Disparities, Interfaith United. All of these organizations reflective of the diversity of our city, our state, and our nation have come together understanding the urgency of the moment. Um, let me acknowledge uh, Mr. Tingling. Bill, good to see you as always. And uh, Rabbi Waldman of the Medgift Foundation. Um, we've got work to do, and I'm so happy to see the goods and the products that have been gathered in the name of those who are struggling to hold their lives together in Haiti. Uh, the crisis is a crisis within a crisis. Not only are the Haitian people um, dealing with the trauma of the earthquake and the tropical storm that hits shortly after the earthquake, but of course, uh, the assassination of, a, of the president as well as not being immune to the COVID-19 pandemic. And so what is being done here today is truly God's work, uh, recognizing humanity, not only of our sisters and brothers here in the US who are of Haitian descent, but the relatives, the families, uh, the extended family uh, that is part of the Western Hemisphere, part of our extended family, on the beautiful island nation of Haiti. Alderman and I have been working with the MedGov organization for many years. Herman Levy has been a conduit to the world, not only to be one of the official responders to the crisis in Haiti, but, Rabbi Walt, but uh, Herman Levy through the MedGov Corporation, you see all this MedGov stuff here, has been given to Africa, to Jamaica, to Haiti, to, to project here in our country. He seemed and found it necessary, not only to be here, but to give us, Rabbi Walderman and I, the opportunity to say, go ahead, share this quantity, this love, this opportunity with Mark Appel's endeavor. We have to bring out the bottom line. I think the message we have to leave with all together today is giving uplifts you. When we give to others and we help them, that uplifts us, it makes us better people. And I think in general, we all should walk away with that message saying, God is smiling on this type of events. This is what he wants. This is what he created the world for, that people like Herman Lowy of Medgiv, Bill Tingling and myself, to care about all our brothers and sisters, whether they're Haitian, Haitians, Africa, in Jamaica, Israel, or, or Muslims, no difference who. We're together in this world that was created for us, by God, for us to do good for one another. And we appreciate all of your support. And please keep in mind, always, Medgiv is here for you. When you hear the name Medgiv, you know you're part of Medgiv events. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. I'm going to be very, very brave. Uh, as you know, my name is Matthew Eugene. I'm the New York City Council Member representing District 40. Mike mentioned Council Member Matthew Eugene, but I'm not alone. Now I got my bodyguard with me. <laughs> The young blood, you see, the young blood, and my sisters who are now, now going to increase the number of Haitians in the city council. Put your hands together for them, please. You know, Father Louis has been serve, serving together with me, but now Rita Joseph pushed me out <laughs> and come, you know, to take my seat. No, no, not you. She's uh, the new council member elected to serve, uh, you know, the city council. And I just want to take the opportunity, number one, to thank Mike and uh, the bridge, and also McGee for everything that they are doing. 
to uh, contribute to the relief effort to Haiti. I'm so happy to see you all here. Happy to see you all supporting the country, the nation, the Republic of Haiti. Let's give Haiti a round of applause. Whether if you're Haitian, a friend of Haiti, maybe you pass through just to go to the beach, who knows? I want to thank you for supporting what we call Aiti Shiri, our love. Yes. That is what Haiti is to us. It's our first love. Our parents, grandparents, forefathers fought very hard to educate us on what Haiti means, what it signifies. And I'm just saying, I would just want to say to everyone that I'm proud to be a daughter of Haitian immigrants. And I'm proud to be standing here with council member elect Rita Joseph. Give her a round of applause for her hard work, who will be representing the 40th council district in Brooklyn. And I would be remiss if I didn't just quickly say how much I appreciate my congresswoman Yvette Clark for being supportive to both of us and supporting our community in various capacities. I want to thank you, Congresswoman, for taking every phone call, for checking in, and ensuring that we have everything that we need for the beautiful island of Haiti. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. Um, thank you for always being a connector. You connect the dots, and you make sure each and every one of us in this room know each other. And that's very important. As an educator, we always work in teams and in collaboration, and Will and Lisa knows that. And that's the kind of council member I'm going to be once I get there. Already is, but once I get there, I'll put it into practice in governance. Um, I wanted to thank each and every one of you today for supporting Haiti. We're daughters of Haiti. Our parents are from Haiti. Grandparents are from Haiti. And we are also New Yorkers and Americans, so we thank you so much for your support. And um, my brothers and sisters in Haiti also says thank you. On their behalf, I'm thanking you. And again, we talk about this, tents, if you know anyone that want to donate tents. It's really rough, sleeping in the rain. And as I'm watching the elders and the children, it breaks my heart. But this today warms my heart and it gives me so much hope. You come up here as well. This is a partnership for Haiti, for people that care about all the communities. And we've worked closely with the Muslim community, and we've worked well with the Christian communities, but these are star blasters. These are people that work. Yasmin is from the Yemeni women. And could you say a couple words on behalf of supporting the people of Haiti? Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon. Thank you so much, Mark, for inviting me here in the great cause. Uh, on the behalf of all Muslim Pakistani community women, uh, I have a deeply condolence for Haitian peoples who are uh, suffering in a crucial time uh, with severe earthquake. So I can feel that all pain, the peoples are in need, our women, brothers, kids, they are suffering, uh, too many deaths, too many injured in the hospitals, too many people, they are out of shadow, demolishing the houses. So in this uh, painful time, we are standing with our Haitian people. And one more request I want to, to our uh, president, and Evet Clark is here from the immigration community. Uh, like the TPS, like uh, the Haitian people, they are on the TPS status right now. So I want to request to our President Biden, please allow them to a permanent immigrant status to our all Haitian people who are contributing in this country with great cause because too many people, they are in uh, city council, they are uh, doctors, they are engineers, they are uh, laborers. So they are involved in the, in, in the economy of the United States. So they deserve for the permanent legal status. So I want to request to our president and the Evert Claude he's here. So uh, thank you so much to arrange this uh, great cause. My name is um, Colleen Oristel, Dr. Oristel. I'm the president of the Haitian American Nurses Association of Greater New York. And um, I'm honored and privileged to be here today. Just a couple of things that I need to mention. Uh, first, thank you to those who had the vision and the insight to bring this all together. Thank you, Mark, for thinking of Hannah. Um, Hannah is comprised of 11 chapters nationwide. Uh, I'm here representing not only the Greater New York chapter, but Hannah International. Good afternoon, everyone. 
So we are here today, as you see, to support Haiti. As human beings, we should do that, you know? Once upon a time, I want to tell you about this story. Nine years, nine years old boy, guess from where, from where he is? Haiti, American, Asian, African. Is he Muslim? Is he Christian? Is he Jewish? So we all human beings, we should support each other. I would like to first of all commend, send a huge commendation to Mark Mayer Rappel for being the bridge of many different cultures around the world in the heart of Brooklyn, which is the heart of New York City, which is the capital of the world. As a newly appointed Global Peace Ambassador to the United Nations, I would like to say that the greatest crisis in the world is discrimination. As the Public Health Ambassador to the United Nations, I would like to say that the greatest crisis in the world for public health care is hunger. I just want to end the program. I, many of you don't know it, but I'll surprise you that in my past life I was a divinity student. I had an early rabbinical degree. I'm not a practicing rabbi, but I just want to end this beautiful ceremony with a prayer. Thank God, as I told the congresswoman, blessed are we all here in this room. Really blessed that we reached a milestone in the fact that communities of different colors, different religions can work together heart to heart, soul to soul. Not only at press conferences, we open up the TV, we see press conferences of diversity and unity, but that's not important. Important is that me and I could share breakfast. I could share the birthday party of Atiyah's daughter. I could share Yasmin's celebration of a family. I could celebrate the rabbi's celebration of a circumcision. We can all celebrate together, not in words, but in real heart and soul. And for this, I feel blessed as the rabbi said, as you all said, I feel blessed to be part of a united community. And on with forward march, let's march forward with strong love for a good year. Thank you so much. <laughs>